For my last video of the year, I would like to start with Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 12. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I have held on to these words throughout this school year, held on to the virtues that we selected back at the beginning of the year of hope and perseverance. I believe that we have endured through this affliction, and I hope that we will come through stronger. I want to thank you, parents and parishioners, for all of your support through this year. But as we close this year, I would also like to say I'm sorry. Um, because I'm very aware that I am not perfect. I, and I'm aware that the decisions we made this year caused pain and stress. With every decision, there were people on one side that felt like, why are we being so strict? And, and those on the other side that felt like, why aren't we being more cautious? And, and these decisions caused pain to both sides. Um, you know, we, every decision was, was guided by the idea of keeping our students safely learning and receiving the sacraments in person. But sometimes in order to safeguard the whole community, we had to make decisions that caused great hardship to individual families. The reality is that I, as you've all felt it, this has just been an exhausting year. And there were many times where I just did not have the energy to be the principal that I wanted to be and, and that I knew you deserved. And there were many times where I could see in my students' eyes that they needed more and, and that I just couldn't deliver. I felt like I kept falling short and that I had nothing left to give. And so I, I am sorry, and I hope that you will forgive me. Um, if a video apology is not cutting it, then please come, come and talk to me this summer. Um, let me hear your story and let me apologize to you in person because I really see, you know, that there is a need for healing and reconciliation so that we can move forward. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful about what lies before us. I'm excited about experiencing parish life to its fullest next year. Um, we have several projects that I think will really benefit the students. And so finally, finally, I, I invite you to join with us in prayer throughout the month of June. Since it's the year of St. Joseph, um, we'll be praying this, this great prayer, the 30-day prayer to St. Joseph. Um, it's, it's beautiful in how it really helps you to reflect on, on the small personal moments of St. Joseph's life. And, and so whether you're able to join with us once or once a week or for all 30 days, I really believe there's a power in uniting together in our intentions. And so we're, we're going to be praying for our parish and our school as a whole. But especially, I, I'd like you to pray for, for Father Drew. Um, and here at the school, a lot of our work this summer is going to be lining things up for starting our lunch program here in the building. Um, and so please, please pray for, for wisdom and that those decisions will go smoothly. I hope that you have a great summer, time to, 
to rest and renew your weary soul. Um, I'll, I will see you in August, um, and until then, peace be with you.